The model that you see on my screen here is the market maker business model. This model derives from Forex and has been adapted by Annie to fit the crypto market by layering in other pieces like liquidation levels and heat map. This is the TBD system and this is the model we trade by. The Makers have access to much larger capital than you and I, and they have the ability to move the market at will. What this business model allows us to do is anticipate the market makers' moves so we can trade in line with them rather than being a victim to their actions. This image makes up the model we trade as part of the TBD system. No matter what time frame you are trading, price always comes back to this model. The market makers trade on CME time. This market opens on Sunday, 5 p.m. New York and closes on Friday, 5 p.m. New York time. So typically between Friday, 5 p.m. New York and Sunday, 5 p.m. New York, there are no market maker moves as the market makers aren't on the clock. What they will do instead is use the Friday to induce you into a position and then trap you into the weekend trap, holding onto a trade that is not good enough to take profit whilst inducing other traders who just enter trades out of pure boredom into a position. This allows them to come back in on Sunday reassess the open positions in the market, assess where the new liquidation levels are and how they are going to liquidate retail traders to build their own position and help them decide which way they are going to shift the market come the new week beginning. What usually follows the weekend trap is a W or an M formation. A W is simply a low followed by a higher low and an M is simply a high followed by a lower high. After the W formation, what follows is three levels of rises. Now, there's a psychological reason behind the number three. Three times the charm, third time lucky, Goldilocks and the three bears. No, that's not actually one, but you get the idea. There's a psychological reason behind the number three. These three levels of rises will lead you into the three day swing. It's simply just three fast bursts in price action at different times. That price action can sometimes increase price, but it doesn't have to. We can get sideways levels as well. There is a key difference in identifying them, and that comes with the volume. But for now, just imagine price moving up like a ladder. In between these rises, price will typically retrace or go into sideways consolidation. If it goes into sideways consolidation, we at TTC like to call that the boardroom or the board meeting. It's where traders get bored into a position because price is going nowhere before they shift price out again. The reason we call it that is because when you see sideways consolidation on a chart, this is the market maker accumulating contracts and enticing retail to open a new position. The market maker only needs to go back into the boardroom when they need to reassess the open positions. What usually follows after the three day swing or three levels of rises is an M formation. So at the top of my screen, here you can see we have a peak followed by a lower high and this is when we know the market maker is getting ready to turn price around. This is usually triggered by a news event which is where we use Forex calendar and at the same time it usually takes out a key liquidation level. So this is high block and it shows us the liquidation levels that have been built up in the market. Also, but not always, we can find high trading light orders. So this is the heat map. It shows us the limit buys and limit sells above and below price. From there, this is what we call midweek reversal, where we expect the reversal the other way. So what follows is three levels of drop. In between each level, we go back into a retrace or a boardroom. Now there doesn't have to be a boardroom. If the market maker has already accumulated enough contract, we can just retrace and then continue to drop. Again, we want to see this on increasing volume. Now come Friday, the market maker will issue trap moves enticing retail into a position before jamming them back up again into the weekend trap. And so this forms the basis of the market maker business model where we'll find Near the start of the week, a direction is chosen and that direction will run for approximately three days. Then towards the middle of the week, the midweek reversal is issued. And finally, on Friday, you get trapped into the weekend trap. Now, it's important to note that the week doesn't always start with price trending up for three days, midweek reversal, and then price trends down. This can happen in the opposite direction as well. This is where the week starts off with an M formation, which is your trigger to short, followed by three levels of drops over approximately three 
three days with boardrooms or retraces in between. Around the middle of the week, after three level drops, we look for signs that price may reverse soon, which is our W formation. The high or low, which is the second side of the W, is your trigger to take a long position. From there, we go into three levels of rise and then exit before the weekend trap. The image seems really easy to interpret, right? W, three rises, M, bag flip the other way. But when it comes time to reading it on a chart, it's not that simple, right? So here I'm going to show you exactly what I just explained, but on a chart. This indicator at the top of my screen here where it says Asia, UK, US represents Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Where you see the gap here is is the weekend so like I said it doesn't look perfect like how I've just explained in the image above but here we have our weekend consolidation where price just goes sideways for two days over the weekend because the market makers aren't on the clock from here we can see our M formation now the first peak formed on a Friday this gave us a high come market open which is Sunday 5 p.m New York we got a lower high here we have our M formation we then went for three levels of drops over approximately three days. So we can see our drop level one here, our drop level two on Tuesday, and then we have a drop level three here. From here, we have our midweek reversal that was triggered by a news event. So if we just look at the date here, it's Thursday the 3rd of October. So let's go back and find the news event that calls the midweek reversal. So here, 8.30 p.m. US had unemployment claims, which is where our reversal pattern started to happen, right? So where my mouse is hovering, you can see the time down the bottom there. Thursday the 3rd, it says 21 o'clock, which is 9 p.m. my time. That's around that news event time, right? So that gave us our midweek reversal after three level drop. Here is your W formation. We then went into three levels of rises. So W formation here, rise level one, went back into the weekend trap, sideways consolidation. We have a rise level two here, and then we got our rise level three. That is the model we trade here at TTC. So now you know the method we trade, try to backtest it for yourself. You'll need a TradingView account to practice on and an exchange to take your trades on. We have both of those links down below, and if you use those links, you'll get substantial trading rebates on every trade you take for life.